Hello beautiful souls, this is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at the energy surrounding you for September of 2017. We made it through the eclipse season, but just because we made it through doesn't mean that it's ended. So it's just actually opening up everything that's going to happen. How are you feeling? Are you feeling strong? Are you feeling ready? Are you feeling sure of yourself and what you want? You should start to feel a little bit better as Mercury uh, regains speed again and uh, gets out of retrograde. It's okay that a lot of us have been foggy in August and questioning what's going on. But September, September is the time to move forward with all of these energies. Especially right after that eclipse, the solar eclipse that happened. Very powerful, very potent in shifting what it is you want to shift in your realm. Now, the thing about it is it's really helpful to focus, to focus on what it is that you want to shift, not shifting everything at one time. Like a trickle effect, focus on one thing, get it done, focus on the other. That might be the Virgo in me coming out, but that's um, that will make change cleaner, faster, and uh, you know, more sustainable. All right, and if you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. All right, Virgo, what energy is surrounding you for September? September. Remember that the collective card is uh, new discoveries. So, what are we going to discover? Calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in the divine. Virgo. Okay. This one wants to come out. Sure. All right, and the energy that's coming in from August into September is illusions reversed. So letting go of your obsession. So you know what? In August, a lot of you guys might have started a new health plan, started a different diet, uh, started uh, you know a new self-help program, seeing a counselor, doing these things to help break yourself of your own personal obsession. So this is a good card to have. And then we have the Six of Swords. Two of Discs, Two of Pentacles, Transformation Reversed, Queen of Cups Reversed, Seven of Swords Reversed, The Chariot Reversed, Knight of Wands Reversed. Let me move this over just a hair. Um, Nine of Cups, Page of Swords Reversed, The Unconscious Reversed, Ten of Wands. Three of Cups and then the Five of Cups, and both of those last ones are reversed. Okay, so the Six of Swords in the center is not being able to push forward, not being able to move on to the path that you wanted to, that there's something blocking you. So it makes sense that we had illusion beforehand in, in August, trickling into September, because you're still cleaning and making space for something to come. So the Six of Swords is saying, hey, keep cleaning, Keep getting everything in order before you set out on your journey in September. In relationships, we have the Two of Discs, Transformation Reversed, and the Queen of Cups Reversed. So this is trying to find balance within a relationship. And there is a certain relationship that's showing up, and most likely with a water sign. So this is going to be with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or with energies around that. And they are off their rocker, okay? They are super emotional. They're emotionally manipulating right now. 
um, they, they're asking you to feed them emotionally, to help them out, do everything in your power to make them okay. And it's wearing you out and it's causing you to kind of go into a tailspin and lose focus of what's important to you. Now, I know you love this person and I know they mean a lot to you, but you have to put up your boundary. And that's what the transformation card is asking you, is to put up a boundary, put up a safety net for yourself and give some space between this relationship so that you can really get your feet grounded, get your heart in the right space and your mind focused. Because this Queen of Cups constantly is spinning you out, taking you on this like weird roller coaster. And once you're on it, it's hard to get off. So step off and don't get back on. Um, now, because it is a Queen of Cups, I will say that a lot of it is going to be relationship-based, um, a partner or somebody that you are romantically um, interested in. But it could be family and it could always be, you know, a very close coworker who you treat kind of like a partner too. Okay, and then we have in career, Seven of Swords reversed, the Chariot reversed, and the Knight of Wands reversed. So there's been something going kind of, um, it feels shady. It feels shady what is happening in career in your work. The Seven of Swords usually is a sneaky peat, somebody trying to take something from you, stealing from you. But when it's in reverse, oftentimes it's um, self-inflicted or you are just worrying over nothing. So this person really isn't hurting you. This person really isn't stealing from you, but you believe they are. Um, but having this Knight of Wands here, and that's a fire sign, so that's going to be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. Uh, having this fire sign in reverse, uh, I feel like in a way they have, they have wronged you at work, a fire sign. They have taken something from you. But maybe you didn't know about it. Maybe you, uh, did, you know, it's like it's so, this is such a foggy situation because with the chariot reverse too, uh, it's like you can't move forward until you figure out what's going on with this knight of wands. And so this, mm, I think this knight of wands is, is a sneaky, sneaky Pete, but they haven't done anything to you yet. Ah, yeah. Spirit just said that's it. Uh, yeah. So they haven't done anything to you yet, but you, you, you're like waiting for the shoe to drop. You know, you're waiting for them to actually do something to you. And this is, um, you know, this feeling that you have is your intuition, is your spidey sense, you know. So do keep away from them because this, this fire sign is working for self-profit and not for the profit of the company or for you. And it's because they're in a really negative space and they're trying to build themselves up at any, at any cost. So be careful because if you don't, Give space to that. Stay honest. Um, stay out of that situation. Uh, then it's going to impede your future. You know, it's going to kind of slow down what's coming in. So, with this Knight of Wands, it's not fa facing them. You can do that, but um, getting in a getting in a, like a physical fight with them will not do any good. All right. So you have to look kind of be like water and put the fire out. Okay. So how you do that is by staying really um, neutral, staying really caring and loving because that throws them off too. Uh, and um, lower your voice a little bit. Okay. Then in abundance, we have the Nine of Cups. So I'm feeling really good about your like financial situation and your material realm. Anything you want, you're going to kind of be able to get if you work towards it, of course. But the Nine of Cups is like the wish card. So it's like you get what you, you want. But the thing is, is I, I don't think you're asking necessarily for the right thing. Because we have the Page of Swords. So this is a message coming in. And then the unconscious, reversed. So what you're asking for is not from your spirit, is not from your heart. It's from this obsession that's happening, Virgo. 
It's happening from what you're trying to let go of. It's um, an illusion that you have created in your mind that you need to have, but you actually don't. And so the Page of Swords, the message could come in that um, you know you didn't receive what you wanted uh, or what you thought you wanted. But if you look deep into your unconscious, which you are completely cutting out at this point, you're completely cutting out um, you know, the possibilities of, of, of a broader spectrum of things that could come in. You're just cutting that all out. And so even though it, like you, you asked for what you wanted, it's not necessarily what you need. Okay? That was a little cryptic, which I just said. So let me see if I can clarify. There's a message coming in. And it's over something that you want. Or what you think you want. But the unconscious, which is your heart, your soul, your mind, it's ruled by Neptune, so it has no boundaries. It's the ethereal. It's trying to lead you down a different path, but you're not listening to it. And so the path that you need to go down and the path that you feel like you have to go down, it could be because you're, you know, the eldest in the family or you are a single mom or, you know, you just have all of these responsibilities that you need to take. You feel like you have to take this road. Your unconscious is trying to lead you down a road that is even more sustainable, substantial, that will lead you to greater abundance. But you need to listen to it to have everything you want. You know, make sure that you are filtering uh, opinions of others, Virgo. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Wands. And this is in Mind, Body, Soul Connection. Um, Ten of Wands, then we have the Three of Cups, reversed, and the Five of Wands, reversed. So this month is really going to be focused on just you, you know, and the work with you. And because you feel really overwhelmed, because the Three of Cups and the Five of Wands is like, you don't have time to go out, you don't even have time to pick a fight, you don't even have time to deal with some issues that are popping up. You're just trying to uh, get past all of these things that have been thrown in your lap. All of a sudden, in September, everything comes to you. And a lot of it is what you wanted and what you asked for, but you just didn't ask for it all at the same time. So with the collective card of the new discoveries, I really think it's time for you to discover a, um, a, a more uh, clean, a cleaner way of, of doing things. You know, uh, simplify. Simplify everything. Simplify what you're doing. And if somebody goes, oh, come on, just... Just do this. That's whining. Remember, that is somebody whining to you because they're not getting what they want. And that's your attention. Now, do you want their, Do you want to give your attention to them? Do you want to do that? If you do, then, you know, absolutely. But watch the time and pay attention to what you need. And when that little inner timer goes off and says, oh, time's up, time to go. So pay attention to that. Because with the Ten of Wands, it's saying that you're feeling really overwhelmed right now. Feeling like, I can't do it all. I need to lay some of this down. But all of it has a possibility. And so that's why it's really hard for you to let go of it. But you can't move forward with all of them. You have to lay a couple down. Okay, so we are going to pull from the Mother Wisdom deck this month to bring it all together. Let's see what comes up for you, Virgo. Butterfly transformation. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oops, sorry. There we go. All right, so I will read it from um, the book that they supply. Uh, 
so butterfly is the winged messenger of transformation she lights when you are in the grit of transition nose to the grindstone are you averting essential change in your life are you resisting a new phase in your child's unfolding are you emerging from the chrysalis and searching for a new expression of being Butterfly tells you to shift positions in order to acquire a loftier perspective. The ever-turning wheels of fate never stop. So accept change as a harbinger of your soul's upward evolution. All right. So that, yeah, you're, this is why the unconscious reverse showed up. That's why illusion reverse showed up. That's why chariot reverse and transformation reverse showed up. It's... It's an, uh, being afraid of letting go, of letting go of a situation, of letting go of what has been going on. And it's hard. It's hard, but it's time. It's time, especially with the, the visionary card of new discoveries popping up as a collective. You have to explore uncharted waters now, Virgo, and step out of your comfort zone. For some signs, it's really easy to be the adventurer. But for Virgo, you guys are very secure in your, in, in your world and how you have created it, and who's in it, and what's in it, and why they are there. But now you have to expand those boundaries and make it even more full, and more collective, and wider, and expansive. And you can do that. All right, remember, listen with your heart, and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.